everyone! So today you are going to find out just how much of a hoarder slash shopaholic I am. First things first, please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on makeup, I do tutorials, I'm going to do some fashion posts, some lifestyle things, so please subscribe. That way you're always notified of any and all upcoming videos. And please also give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. And leave below any comments about videos you like to see, some of the products that you've recently hauled. As I mentioned in my drugstore haul, which I just filmed right before this, so I don't know which one is going to go up first. But if you haven't seen that one, then watch it. And if you've watched it and this one, then you are just ahead of the game. So, as I mentioned in that video, I am a naturally nosy person. I love seeing what people buy. Like, it's a sickness. I want to know what you're talking about. I want to know what you're wearing. I want to know where you shop. Where do you summer? I'm not like a secretive person. So if somebody says, what foundation are you wearing? What lashes are you wearing? You know, where'd you get those jeans? I'm going to tell you. And if you ask me or you say, I really like your shirt, you better be prepared for like where I got it, what year I got it, if they still sell it, was it on sale, because I'm going to tell you. Because if I ask somebody or tell somebody I really like their shoes, I'm really saying, where did you get your shoes? I want some. So, you know, help a girl out. I'm going to help a girl out. Let's all help the girls out. I did my drugstore haul, Affordable Beauty, and this is my high-end haul. One of the products has not come in yet. I don't know what is going on. It's like one of those stupid UPS things that transfers it to your post office and then your post office takes 27 years to deliver it. So that hasn't arrived. It was the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I've had before. I've run out and decided to purchase it again. So that was hauled, but it is not here because UPS has dropped the ball. So. Moving on to what I do have with me. Some of these things are repurchases. Some of these things I have not tried before. Um, I hit that really fun moment in time when you run out of everything at once. And it doesn't happen that often, but when it does, you're just like, R really? You're gone too? And then it just adds up and it adds up. But you need those things because they're your favorite products. It will be in no particular order because it's all in this box and the box is like overflowing. So, let's go. I have been loving, like loving the Drunk Elephant skincare. It is so good. So I went ahead and started repurchasing um, some of the larger sizes and came across this, which is the Let's Be Clear kit. And this is so cool. So look how cute it is, first of all. Like, could you die? Could you die? Because this is like the cutest. And so you flip this little puppy up and you've got your um, B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, which I love this stuff. I use it in the morning. And then you've got three of these little samples, which are really good. These are the things I was talking about, like those sizes, and they last between four and five weeks. So they're excellent for travel. So you're not lugging around the big bottles. And then it's got one of their um, facial bars, which I have not tried yet. So I'm not a big like, soap bar style cleanser person just because I think it's messy and I don't really like it but I will try it out and kind of see what I think but the packaging is so cute because it just you don't have to worry about like losing a cap it just boop, pops up like how cute is that so cute so I use this in the morning um before I apply I use this in the morning before I apply the C from a day serum. This gives a nice little hydration beforehand. Put this baby on. I think this is a really cute little kit where it just gives you um, obviously one of the larger sizes, but also gives you some of the travel size, which is really cool. This is a repurchase. This is the Purity Face Cleanser. This is my all time favorite. I have tried to like switch to other cleansers just to see if there's anything out there. And really nothing is better for my skin than this stuff because it eats through like all of my makeup and sometimes I wear a lot um, but it doesn't dry out my skin and I have such an issue with cleansers just making my skin feel really tight um, now don't get me wrong I always moisturize after I use this but 
it doesn't make my skin feel stripped. It just makes it feel clean and gets all the makeup off. So I really love this stuff. Can't go without it. This was kind of new for me. This was from Nordstrom. This is the um, New Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. I used to use Rapid Lash and I really liked it and I actually did see really good results, but I ran out of it. Um, and I feel like it stopped working for me. So this is kind of fancy. Look at that. It's basically just supposed to condition and apply some peptides to your lashes to allow them to grow longer and thicker and prevent the fallout pattern that typically occurs. Um, this is the same cost as Latisse, um, but you don't have to have a prescription to get it. So it's a little easier to obtain. I ordered mine from Nordstrom. I'm really excited to start using this, but basically it comes in a little silver tube like this and you unscrew the top and it has kind of like a liquid eyeliner brush and you're just supposed to apply it just like you would a liquid liner just across your top lash line. And um, from what I've read, it seems like it typically takes like four weeks, four to six weeks to really start seeing results. Um, so I'm excited to try this and see what happens with my lashes because I have, I don't know what's been going on, but they've been kind of like sporadic and falling out and it's not fun. Also from Nordstrom, I ordered some hair care products. Um, I love Orbe products, love them. Right now I'm using the Orbe Beautiful Color Shampoo and Conditioner, um, but I'm almost out of it. So I decided to stock back up and wanted to try something a little bit different. So I got the Orbe Shampoo for Brilliance and Shine. And I also got the matching conditioner. And Orbe products are just awesome. They don't test on animals. Um, they're good quality. They don't strip your color, sulfate free, all that good stuff. Can we just take a minute and look at the beautiful color this is? That is like the most saturated like indigo color with that gold writing. I understand it's just a shampoo bottle, but it doesn't hurt. So look how beautiful that is. And Orbe, if you've ever smelled it, like you know what I'm talking about. It's just the, oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. So anyway, this had really good reviews on um, on just the shine that it gives your hair. So with blonde hair, I feel like it's not as shiny as people with dark hair. It just gets kind of lost and it looks a little dull. So I wanted to try something a little different and just see uh, if it makes a big difference or not. This is the matching conditioner. Same beautiful blue color, same pretty gold writing, and probably, yep, the same delicious scent. This stuff makes your hair smell so good. All Orbe products do. Um, like I said, I ordered mine from Nordstrom, but you can get yours at a uh, salon that typically sells Orbe. Also from Nordstrom, I ordered some more um, MAC strobe cream. I had mentioned that I had run out of this. I order mine in the small to go size, which is one ounce, as opposed to their full size, which is 1.7 ounce, for the sole purpose that it is more cost effective. So a one ounce strobe cream this size costs $12. If you buy the 1.7 ounce, it's like 32. How does that make sense? If anybody can figure that out, please let me know how that makes sense. I could buy two ounces and it will be $24 as opposed to 1.7 ounces that is 32. Don't know. I don't know. But I will always do that. I will always look at what is the most cost effective way to do something. Cause that's just silly. Like that doesn't make any sense. And sometimes you're paying more for a smaller size than you would for like the bigger size. But in this case, this is the value baby. Here is another repurchase. This is the uh, Derma Doctor KP Duty Scrub. This stuff is so good. I mentioned this in my January favorites, I think. And it is like the best body scrub out there. It has chemical exfoliant in it and physical exfoliant. So it is so good. It doesn't really have a fragrance, um, but you can see it looks kind of thick. Um, but I mean, this stuff really exfoliates and it is so good for removing a fake tan or for prepping your skin for a tan. Um, and it's also supposed to keep those little like bumps on your arms um, away. So I really, really love this stuff and it's a 16 ounce tub. So this stuff lasts forever. Next we got the Shiseido Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Masks. 
If you've never tried these things before, they are so good. They're just little like eye masks that just sit, like half moons almost, that sit right under your eye. And you wear them for 15 minutes. Sometimes I wear from mine for 20 if they stay, um, if they stay moisturized enough. This brightens your under eyes, it takes away any puffiness, and it blurs like any sort of lines you have going on. These things are the best. And this is just a three pack one. I don't use them all the time because they can get a little pricey, um, but I love to use stuff like this, especially if I've been really tired or I've been crying, like watching a show, like This Is Us. If any of you watch that show, you know what I'm talking about. Get a little puffy. These babies will bring it right back down. A couple more masks I got are these Karuna masks, and I love this brand. These are the age-defying mask and the hydrating mask. So these are both hydrating, supposed to plump up your skin, have the hyaluronic acid in them, um, and I love these. These are just the sheet masks, and so you apply these for uh, 20 to 30 minutes, and... Um, you just leave them on your face, watch TV, whatever. It's typically best to use them when you're laying down because otherwise they'll just kind of slip all over the place. But I love these things and they're so easy to use. You know, they take up little to no space if you're traveling and they're just good to have on hand. Another Drunk Elephant product. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. This stuff is everything. It is so good. I love Josie Marin Argan Oil and I still use it. I still use it on occasion. Um, but I feel like with this stuff, it just sinks in a little better. It's not as thick and my skin just absorbs it and it doesn't leave as much of a residue. Um, but I love this stuff. It just comes in this cute little bottle. This is glass, so that can be a little tricky for travel. Um, but I mean, just has like your regular dropper. This stuff, it doesn't really, none of the Drunk Elephant products have any fragrance to them, which is nice. I mean, sometimes you're like, mm. but I mean, really, it doesn't irritate anyone's skin. There's so many people that get irritated by um, added fragrance. So this is a really good oil. If you like Josie Marin Argan Oil, then I would give this a try because I love that stuff, but it is a little thick. And so this is great for like wearing during the day. It doesn't really affect your makeup and it doesn't leave like a thick residue on your skin. I'll go ahead and go over the other two Drunk Elephant products just to get those out of the way. This is probably the most talked about Drunk Elephant product. This is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This stuff is so good. I guess I would compare it kind of to Sunday Riley Good Jeans, but Good Jeans did not work on my skin. I had like all these breakouts, it was terrible, and I had to return it, I just could not use it. So this is kind of the same thing where it has a bunch of different acids in it, but my skin has loved this and it's kept it clear and vibrant and it just doesn't have any texture, like, except for what's going on right here, like, I don't, I don't know. It says refine and texturize. It's a 12% blend of AHA and BHA um, acids. It says it resurfaces dull, congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells to reveal an even toned and radiant looking complexion. Formulated with raspberry extract and horse chestnut to improve the appearance of skin texture and broken capillaries. Now that is a big thing to me because I have broken capillaries on the sides of my cheeks and I'm currently undergoing laser treatments to try and get rid of them because unfortunately with uh, broken capillaries, not much takes them away and not much covers them. So I've been loving this stuff and it has the same cute little packaging where it just pops right up. And this has not been, I have sensitive skin, this has not been aggressive on my skin whatsoever. The last uh, Drunk Elephant product is their Lippy. It's supposed to moisturize and volumize with some sort of nut oil, avocado seed oil, and peptides. So this is just kind of a on a whim product. It's real little and it just pops right up. It actually doesn't look like you get much product at all. That's it, that's what you get in here. Do you see that? Do you see that this is full size? That's what you get in here. Mm-hmm. This I got from Ulta and this is a hair mask. It's called It's a Tin. And I love their um, spray leave-in 
it's a tin product, whatever it is. Um, I have one that has keratin in it and one that is just a regular. And then this is supposed to be a leave-in hair mask. And I haven't tried this out yet, obviously. Um, it still has its little cover on there, but it just looks like a really thick consistency. And I have been just dying to find a good hair mask right now because my hair has been all over the place and it's driving me nuts. But it looks like this has a cool like little pop top, which is neat. So you don't have to really unscrew anything. You can just pop it up, scoop it out, and pop it back down. So that is nice. Um, it says it detangles, restores moisture balance, instantly restores elasticity, softens, smooths, imparts luminous shine, enhances natural body, nourishes, defrizzes, and improves color vibrancy. Those are some claims. So I will try this out and let you guys know what I think of it. I am crossing my fingers that it is a keeper. My last hair product is the Olaplex number no. three. I have purchased this before. I am a massive fan of Olaplex. If you don't know what Olaplex is, when you go and get your hair colored, especially if you get highlights, the bleach damages your hair. It damages the bonds within your hair and that's what causes it to break. So if you go to a salon that um, provides Olaplex treatment, what they can do is put the step one into the color mixture that they're going to apply to your hair. Then step two is when they're rinsing out your color, they leave on the number two treatment for like 10 minutes and sometimes they can apply heat just to make it absorb a little better. And then the step three is something that you can buy separately and you leave it in your hair before you wash it. You like wet it, towel dry it, then apply this. And it's supposed to help repair and strengthen damaged hair, which the last time I got my hair colored, I forgot to um, ask for Olaplex and I am kicking myself because my hair is breaking like crazy. We've got some Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is in translucent light. I have tried this already and I am undecided on what I think about it. Um, I love Cover FX, but I tell you what, there's really nothing that can take me away from my RCMA No Color Powder. I love it. This has a cool little top. It pops right up like this, and then you can kind of, it has a little sifter there and you can pour it into your top or do whatever you wanna do. Um, to me, it's kind of messy, but you know, sometimes you can't win with the packaging. But basically what this stuff is, is it's just a translucent powder, but to me it has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's not completely matte. But it seems like a good setting powder. Um, it has really good reviews, and I have noticed that when I've used it lightly just to set foundation down, um, that it has made my skin look very airbrushed and poreless, which is always good. I just can't decide if I like it under the eyes or not, but um, I've seen really good reviews on this, so I'm gonna keep giving it a shot. This next Cover FX product is their bronzer. I saw Kathleen Lights talk about this. This is in the color Suntan, and I tell you what, Cover FX, like can do no wrong in my book. I think that they are so incredible. This is the Cover FX bronzer and it's in a really slim package. I don't know if that means there's not a lot of product in here, but the packaging is slim, won't take up a lot of space, and it has its little cover on there, the little clear thing, and that's the um, color of it. So it's a nice like neutral bronze color. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't look too orange. It looks like it has a little bit of a red undertone actually. Um, so I'm really excited to try this because Kathleen Lights said she loved it and pretty much anything that Kathleen likes I'm gonna like. I just know it. I just trust her wholeheartedly. This has been sold out at every Sephora I've been to and it was sold out online for a while and I put it in my cart and I left it and the next thing I know it was sold out so this time I got an email about it and I bought it immediately. Thank you Sephora app. Thank you. This is another uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I already have two of these but I was running out of one. Um, I got mine in the color light. I have light neutral and it's too dark for me. It's like the color of like my skin when I'm wearing foundation, but my under eyes, it's just way too dark for. I just am having trouble finding my perfect shade, but light is a good, it's a good happy medium, I think. So it has that really big applicator. This concealer is full coverage, it's great. It dries down pretty matte, so it doesn't crease too much. Pretty much every concealer creases on me, honestly. I mean, 
I dare you to show me one that doesn't. Um, because I have little lines under my eyes, I wear contacts, so I'm constantly like tugging on my eyes. Um, but this one is actually really good and it stays in place all day and does not move. So Tarte Shape Tape, if you can get it, I think it's typically available on the Tarte website, I would pick it up. It is so good. Another newly raved about concealer is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I was a little hesitant to try this, but again, Kathleen Lights <laughs> said she really liked it. And so I figured if she likes it, I'll try it. Cause she has dry skin, I have dry skin. We have roughly the same skin tone. Um, so this really should be Kathleen Lights made me buy it. So maybe I should have that as the title. But I got mine in the color Light 2 Vanilla and it's a little pinky, but it's beautiful under the eyes. It's a little light for just um, around my face to spot conceal, but it's great under the eyes. I have messed with this and I'm wearing it today. Um, it's really creamy. Like you just pop your finger in there and it just melts really well with the heat of your body and it just melts right in. Um, this does not crease very much and you don't have to set it down that much with powder. It's excellent and it's really good for just a no makeup makeup look where you don't want to have a ton of foundation and concealer on but you want to conceal and kind of correct any areas that might be discolored. Um, I love this stuff. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. <laughs> I like it better than the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I love, um, but recently I've just kind of, I haven't really been using it. I feel like it got kind of cakey under my eyes, and oddly enough, the matte is better than the Radiant Creamy, so I don't know. I don't know where they got their name, but this is really awesome. I got another Anastasia Brow Wiz because I cannot live without this baby. This is in soft brown. Um, I'm, I have like one day left on my pencil downstairs. This thing, it's the best. It's the best. I I can't have anything better than this. It's just great. Has the beautiful little spoolie on the side, on one side, which is excellent. And then it has the very fine precision tip on the other. And I just feel like this gives you the most natural, full looking brows. Um, it doesn't look like a bunch of makeup on, especially if you use this spoolie and you just continue to brush out the product, it just looks so natural and so full. So the Anastasia Brow Wiz is my go-to and I will not be without it. I got the Tarte Tartiste Pro To Go Mini Palette. I've been seeing things about the Tartiste Pro Palette, um, but I just didn't know. I, I've seen mixed reviews. Some people say it doesn't blend very well. Some people say it gets muddy. Um, to me, it looks beautiful, but I figured this one would be a great way to start. And I swatched these colors in Sephora and died because they're beautiful. Look at this. You get three mattes and three shimmers. And these are such universal colors. I think that you could just really make a variety of different eye looks with this. If you wanted to stick with a matte, if you wanted to have this pop here with Dominate, or boss, or you just wanted to have just a light shimmer on the eye, I think this will be the most perfect palette um, to take with you on a trip so you don't have like a giant palette taking up a bunch of space. The palette itself is really good quality. It's nice and hard. It has the nice magnetic closure, so everything will stay nice and safe. So I'm so excited to use this. I really wanna use that Dominate color. Anything cranberry. Oh, I love cranberry. I think it's so beautiful, especially with green eyes it, or blue eyes. It just makes everything pop. And the last item is not in this box because um, I started using them and forgot to put them back in the box. They are the Tweezer Man Slant Tweezers. I got mine in the geranium color is what it says. Um, and so far I've really liked these. I had a pair of like really old tweezers that had like handles, you know, like places for your fingers and they like opened up kind of like scissors and I love those babies. I do, I love them, but sometimes they're not as precise as you want and all I've ever heard are good things about the Tweezerman tweezers. I will tell you that they scare the life out of me with how sharp they are, but you know, if they do the job, then I guess it's worth risking your life, so. Or an eyeball or taking out a chunk of flesh. But you know, that is it for my high-end haul. I hope you guys saw some things that you might wanna try out or if you have tried any of these things out, please let me know because 
I am always wanting to try new products and I always love to hear like how things react with different people and different skin, you know, like something that might work for you might not work for me and vice versa or it might be the best thing we've ever tried so please leave some comments down below about products you're trying out and loving or not loving um and as always please remember to subscribe to my channel just hit that little red box and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys